The George Washington Colonials are the athletic teams of George Washington University of Washington, D.C. The Colonials compete in Division I of the National Collegiate Athletic Association, NCAA, as members of the Atlantic 10 Conference for most sports. The GW Colonials baseball team is a varsity intercollegiate athletic team of George Washington University. The team is a member of the Atlantic 10 Conference, which is part of the National Collegiate Athletic Association's Division I. The team plays its home games at Tucker Field in Barcroft Park, Arlington, Virginia. The Colonials are coached by Greg Ritchie. George Washington's first baseball team was fielded in 1891. The GW Colonials men's basketball team plays its home games in the Charles E. Smith Center, which is also shared with other GW Colonials athletic programs. The team competes in the Atlantic 10 Conference. It qualified for the NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Tournament in 2014 for the first time since 2007 and won the NIT Tournament Championship in 2016. The Colonials head coach is Jamion Christian. The GW Colonials men's soccer team competes in NCAA Division I Men's Soccer in the A-10, Atlantic 10 Conference, along with 13 other teams. The program began in 1967 and has earned two A-10 championships in 2002 and 2004 and two regular season A-10 titles in 1992 and 2011. The team made it to the NCAA tournament three times, including the round of Sweet 16 in 1989. The GW Colonials men's soccer team has won the DC College Cup twice in 2007 and 2008. The Cup is a competition between four Washington, D.C. universities, including George Mason University, American University, and Howard University. The women's gymnastics team is coached by Margie Foster Cunningham and assisted by both Barry Kistler and Jeff Richards. In the 2013-2014 season, the Colonials were led by senior captains Taylor Henderson, Kayla Carto, and Betsy Zander. Men's rowing competes in the Intercollegiate Rowing Association. The program began in 1956 and in 2019 the Colonials' first varsity A+ plus placed 13th at the IRA National Championships, the highest end-of-season national ranking of any GWU athletics program in school history. In 2020, Eric Gurka became the new head coach for the men's rowing team. He is assisted by GW alumni David Lincoln and Maddox Castle. The sailing team competes in the Middle Atlantic Intercollegiate Sailing Association of the Intercollegiate Sailing Association. The gymnastics team competes as a member of the East Atlantic Gymnastics League. Squash is sanctioned by the College Squash Association, CSA, not by the NCAA. The men's and women's water polo teams compete as members of the Southern East Division of the Collegiate Water Polo Association. In July 2020, George Washington University announced plans to drop seven sports to help offset an estimated $200 million budget shortfall amid economic fallout due to COVID-19. Three NCAA sports, men's indoor track, men's tennis, and women's water polo, and four non-NCAA sports, men's rowing, men's and women's squash, and sailing, were discontinued. George Washington University's football program ran from 1881 to 1966. The final George Washington game came on Thanksgiving Day, 1966, when the team lost to Villanova, 16-7. GW ended the season with a 4-6 record. Conference, 4-3, and Jim Camp was named Southern Conference Coach of the Year. On January 19, 1967, the Board of Trustees voted to end the football program. Pure game attendance and the expense of the program contributed to the decision. A former GW player, Harry Lightford, believed that most people were unwilling to commute into Washington, D.C., which did not have a metro rail at the time, on Friday nights to RFK Stadium. Additionally, Maryland and Virginia were nationally competitive teams that drew potential suburban spectators away from GW. Source